back to my channel it's been a little while since i've done a makeup video um i've just been really busy with exams and stuff like that so yeah that's fun but i am back with a sort of in-depth video on how to cut your crease now i'm gonna do a few of these but this one is how i do a full cut crease so we cut the crease completely full i'm gonna show you how i did this look as well so um yeah let's get straight into the video Okay, so I have gone and put on my eyebrows. Now I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gel and I use the shade... I use the shade Dark Brown and it's really, really good. It kind of like sets down, which is really good. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend it. So, um, I'm going to start with the Stacey Marie Carnival Palette by Be Perfect Cosmetics. So it looks like this. This is what the inside looks like. It is um, one of my favourite palettes ever. Since I've got it, I haven't been able to put it down. It is amazing. So we're going to start off. I want to use um, quite a small brush. Okay, so I was trying to find um, my brush from the Modern Renaissance palette by ABH, but I can't find it. So I'm just going to use this one that is very similar. It's a jewel-ended brush, and we're going to use the fluffy side. I like these brushes, or these style of brushes, like the ones you get in the ABH palettes, just because they're really small, so you can get sort of a focused... You can pack it on quite focused, um, but, you know, they're still a little blendy, so you can blend out the edges. We're going to go in with the shade Liquor which is this one here. We're just gonna coat the brush with the color and we are doing a full cut crease today. So what I am gonna do is we're gonna follow the shape of our natural eyelid where it creases there. And then I'm gonna sort of flick it out. Um, now, every time I do this, my flick shape turns out different, but you'll find out what works best for you. Um, and I haven't really got a special technique for this. I just sort of follow, follow the line, you know? And then as you can see, I'm just sort of winging this bit out. Like so, just sort of following along. Now, this is the first stage of our blending. Um, so as you can see, it doesn't have to be perfect. It can be a little bit messy. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go in and sort of buff out the top edges so that they're not so harsh. Just going on with what I've got left on my brush. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna blend it in just to make the next step a little bit easier. Also, I do know about this little devil that's decided to pop up just now. That's great. We're gonna go in with this brush next. Now, this is kind of a flat brush. Now, I quite like these for adding layers because if you angle them right, you can get a really precise blend. Now, I'm gonna go in with the shade Guilty, this shade here. We're just gonna take it just slightly above the previous shade. I'm just going to go in with the previous brush and just blend in the darker shade. A good trick is to make sure that this darker colour goes a little bit higher than where you'll cut your crease. This is um, about trial and error. It's hard to just instantly know this, but with your own eye and sort of learning the curvature of your eyeball, I guess. I don't know. Um, but learning the shape of your eye and stuff, you'll learn to put this darker colour slightly higher than where you'd normally cut your crease because it just makes it easier and it makes it so you can see all of the layers of colour which um, obviously there's no, not much point putting this dark colour on if no one's going to see it so. Next we're going to go in with an orange shade. Now I'm going to use the shade Lit which is this one here and I'm taking this on the Morphe M433 brush which looks like this. And we're just going to pack it just above the last shade. There we go. Sorry, guys. I swapped brushes because that wasn't doing it for me. It was too fluffy. So I'm using this more precise one. Sorry about that. And again, we're just going to go in with the last shade and make sure we don't lose that in the midst of blending this lovely orange. You want to make sure that you can see all of the layers. I love this orange because it's like a neon orange, like red shade, it's really cool. Next, I'm gonna go in with a yellow. Now the yellow I like to use, there's two in this palette, but I like to use Shuffle. 
because it's more of a creamy yellow um, and I feel like it just blends a little bit nicer. So I am going to take that on the same brush just because I absolutely adore this brush for blending out yellow. And we're just going to go to town. I feel like it just brings the whole entire blend together, if you know what I mean. And if you feel like afraid to blend so many colours, obviously I've blended four here today. If you feel like that's too much or you don't have enough lid space, try three or try two. Um, it doesn't have to be as many colours, you know, try seven if you've got big, you know, big lids. <laughs> um, do it to your personal preference. This isn't like, a, follow this exactly. It's like, take these steps and mould them to you but there we go i'm just going to go back in and redefine all of the layers so i'm just going to start with the darkest one just make sure we've really got that there that it's not going anywhere and that we've got the entire shape which we have and then i'm going to go in with the next shade there we go you can see we've got the blend going on it's all happening in blend town <laughs> so now the exciting bit we're going to cut the crease now let's talk products um what i like to use is concealer so i like to use the revolution conceal and correct white concealer just because i like the white base i, I feel like it sets a good base to start with um and it's just really good and it's really cheap as well so i normally just take a little bit on the back of my hand just like so as you can see it's really really white which is really good when you're working with color um and then i like to take my so waver 144 soft concealer brush looks like so now this is good because as you can see it goes really thin so you can get a really really precise um sort of cut with it because it goes so thin and the shape of it you'll learn to work with the curve i used to work with square brushes to cut my crease back in the day um and then i started working with curve brushes and it just makes the whole process a lot easier but again you do need to know the shape of your eye you know to sort of get it right on your own eye but what I normally like to do is start in the middle then I will do the outer and the inner I sometimes switch it up depending on how I'm feeling depending on how it's going um and another trick that I like to do is when I'm dipping my brush into the product I like to make sure I coat both sides and what I'll often do is I will like scrape product onto the side of the brush that I'm using so it's got a little like I can't really explain it but so that it's got like more on that side because I find the more product you've got on the brush and the more wet it is or saturated it is should I say the cleaner it's going to cut and the crisper it's going to cut whereas if it's sort of dry then it's going to drag and you're not going to get a clean it's going to be jagged so I like to make sure that I've got that little lip of product on the side that is going on my eye but I start on the middle and I just put a little bit down where I want to go. A lot of people like to put it on the lid and look up. I personally don't like this method um, just because I feel like I'll blink too high and then it goes like up there and I lose all my blending. Um, so it might be a little bit impractical, but I prefer to do it this way. And just sort of going down. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect the first time. You can always go back in and redefine it. But I like to follow the blend. So I've set where my crease is going to go with this blend, if you know what I mean. So it's going to be different every time you do it, of course, because you're never going to get it exactly right or exactly the same twice, but follow the blend, if you know what I mean. So, so as you can see, I've got to here, and this is the bit where I'm going to wing it out. So again, doing the method where I get more and lip it over. Now, every time I do this, it comes out different. Sometimes I've got more of a swoop, sometimes it's a bit more straight. This time I've gone for a really deep swoop, um, but it just depends on what you're feeling on that day and personal preference. There we go. So I'm just going to cut the inner part as well. This is the part I always mess up on, just because I can never get the shape right. I always struggle blending here as well. But again, I do feel like it is trial and error and getting used to your own shapes. So now a lot of people... What they like to do is once they've cut it or before they cut it, they like to use makeup remover um, just to stop it getting cakey. I don't do this just because 
I can't be bothered. I don't have any makeup remover right now, so I couldn't really do it if I wanted to anyway. But I'm I'm not really too bothered about the effect that it gives. Um, I don't think it looks overly cakey, and it doesn't make that much of a difference for me. But if you're worried about it, I'd say definitely try that because it might help but this is what we've got at the moment so as you can see i have followed the cut with the blend i'm just gonna plug my phone in because it's low power mode sorry guys slight angle change there oh sorry about the angle change guys but what i am gonna do is we're going to put some tape on just so when we put the colors on our lid we can get a really sharp line Call me ratchet, I don't care. So I've put it there so I can get that really, really sharp line. Um, and I'm just gonna go in with some colours. I don't know which colours I'm going to use. I really love this pigment, but I don't want it to ruin the whole look. Do you know what? We're gonna do it. So we're gonna put this pigment all over my lid. It's called Double Denim by Light G XO. This is their brand. The pigments are really good. I do have a discount code with them, SCL Beauty, if you guys wanna cop yourself some pigments. So I'm just gonna dip a brush into it and we're just gonna test how it goes on my hand. You can see how much of a difference primer makes. So that is it without anything and that is it on top of the white. We're going to town, guys. So there we go, there I am with the pigment. What I am gonna do is I always leave that little gap. It's just something that I do naturally and I do it so that I don't mess up the blend. But what I'm gonna do is add like a bit of gold glitter there, I think. I think that's just gonna really top off the look, so. I think this is more what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna take the 3D gold glitter by Lychee XO. Um, and I'm going to take the X glitter primer. I'm just going to squeeze that on my hand. And what I'm just going to do is with this little brush, I'm just going to put it on that white line. So I like to do this in sections. So I've done that little section. So I'm just going to wipe the brush off, dip into the glitter, and pack that glitter on that section before it dries. There we go. So now I'm just going to carry that on across my eye, doing it in sections. So there's the close-up, and I'll just get a little bit of peeling. If that's not satisfaction, I don't know what is. I'm just going to clean up my face. I need to go in my car and get my wipes. Let's leave. I just went out to my car like this, just to get makeup wipes. Dedication. Now what I'm going to do is put on some mascara and eyelashes, and then I'll do the other eye and come back. So if I film me doing this eye, we're going to be here all day. Well, all evening, because it's evening. But I have finished the eye look. So as you can see, I did it on the other eye. And as you can see, the shape has come out a little bit different, because it happens every time I do an eye look. So um, this is the finished look. So what I did off camera was I added a highlight to the inner corner and the brow bone and I also added some under eye shadow basically mirroring the same shadows that we did on top and I added obviously mascara and white in the waterline um, but this is the up close of the face as well. So I'll just run through the products that I use. I use the MUA Pro Base Foundation is my favourite foundation at the moment. I absolutely love this stuff. It's so good. Um, I then use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I use the Collection Bronze Glow and the Revolution Vivid Baked Bronzer. The highlight I used on my cheeks and on my, um, well, all over my face, basically, is from the Carnival Palette. It's the shade Sinner. It is a little bit dark for me, but... Um, um, when I'm on camera, it doesn't really matter so much, so I'm not really bothered. Um, the white liner I used is the Milk Jumbo Eye Pencil from NYX. And on my lips is Liquid Lipstick from Pop Cosmetics. I love how I've literally done this look, just to take it off again. <laughs> 
Okay, one more close up, guys. Here's the close up of the eyes. So as you can see, we've got that really defined cut crease. And if your cut creases don't go defined, you can just put glitter on them anyway. Mine, I've sort of mastered the technique for my eyes of getting them pretty sharp. But I still like to put glitter on them every now and then because it adds a bit of something. And when I'm going quite dark, like this blue is quite dark, I like to break it up as well. Thank you for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. It feels so good to be back. I'm going to try and keep with it this time. I know I say that every time, but I am really going to try to do more YouTube content for you all because um, I do really enjoy making it. It's just finding the time that I struggle with. But thank you for watching, guys. Um, I will link any of the products and discount codes down below. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like the video, like, subscribe. I'll link all my socials down below as well. So go follow me and all that fun stuff. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.